We are fighting through the Bridgetown Initiative to be able to have a new deal with respect to how we can access money to be able to build in a more resilient way. Because for every dollar we spend now, we save $7 in spending if we were hit and damaged by a climate crisis. That's the objective outlined by Prime Minister Motley as she embarks on a two-week mission tomorrow. The Bridgetown Initiative as a response to the climate crisis tops the agenda. She describes it as a grueling roadmap. We go to London first tomorrow and what I'm doing here with Mr. Timmermans, we will have the opportunity to do with all of the British High Commissioners and Ambassadors globally who have been brought together to London and they've invited me to speak to them particularly on the Bridgetown Initiative and our ability to be able to get this new financing deal, not just for Barbados, but for the world, whether it is increasing the capital of World Bank and other regional development banks so that they can lend us at affordable rates to put in water pipes, to do the coastal preservation, to ensure that our aquifers are not um, the only thing we rely on, particularly when the saline activity becomes too high. Prime Minister Motley also reports a number of countries are now paying close attention to natural disaster clauses under the Bridgetown Initiative. And what does that simply mean? That when a crisis, a climate, climatic crisis happens, you can pause paying your debt for two years without affecting your credit rating or your credit worthiness. And that that space that you get in our particular case in Barbados will be the equivalent of about two billion dollars. There are a number of stops along the way including Geneva, Switzerland for an engagement on artificial intelligence, Ghana as Barbados prepares to be the regional headquarters of the Afriexum Bank and then over to China where she will meet a number of high-level officials. But it's during a summit for a new global financing pact in Paris where there will be a major push for the world to mobilize $1.5 trillion in private sector investment right across the globe in an effort to limit global warming to the tune of 1.5 degrees. We want the multilateral development banks and the regional development banks, the Inter-American Development Bank, the World Bank, um, the Caribbean Development Bank, to be able to put these natural disaster clauses in their debt instruments too. So instead of us only benefiting to $2 billion because of the clauses in our commercial paper, we can benefit more when it becomes accepted across the multilateral banks. That's what Paris is about. Now, while in London, the Prime Minister will also meet with King Charles III to celebrate the contribution of the Windrush generation in building Britain in the 20th century.